Oh, no, this is good, actually. Show me the next level. Oh, that was great. Hey. Another elevator. One floor, one. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Disagree. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Yes. If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Ceiling, see ceiling's a lot, for whatever it is. a lot shorter. You know what I mean? And it makes me feel more comfortable. Oh, another office. Perfect. Just seems like an odd hallway and a weird place to... That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. Awful. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally yeah! accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. That's, what do you say, friend? That's good. I actually like that. So I was... Wait. Okay. Well. Hmm. That's something. Yo, O7's in the chat for uh, Casper. See you later. So this is new. I miss it. It reminds me of home. Feels like it was just yesterday, chat. But I was in there. Imagine locking up a fucking filing cabinet. What? Psst. Stanley. Yeah. Come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Can I go explore first? Can I go explore? Okay, I'm gonna hey, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be chill for this one. There's nothing bad ever happens in the vent. You know? Amogus. Don't worry, guys. I'm in real sussy baka mode. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it yeah. got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> is this Elden Ring? Wait, what the fuck? I call it oh, the memory zone. I thought it was like Elden. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Wow. The memory zone looks pretty fucking sick. Look at this, huh? What a night. This is where I want to retire, okay? Look at that.
You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Yeah. Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Yeah, I remember. Man, shapes, graphs, National Geographic, cargo. Look at that. The Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. The Audience Awards for the 2014 Independent Games Festival. The British Academy of Film and Television Arts awarded Stanley Parable. Last of Us in the category <laughs> They just taped it over the Last of Us award. <laughs> wow. The good old times. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of Stanley Parable 2013. Look at that. So good, guys. So great. Wait. Okay, I'm just reading some of the other stuff. These are just from the main game. Wow, very nice. I guess I'm gonna just go through here. Smile because it happened. Oh no, this is my worst nightmare. Trip down memory lane. Here's the first dollar they ever made. Here's the TV. Go outside. Don't play for fun. <laughs> Wait. What the fuck? That's... Wait, did I get that achievement? How do you check? Games. And then... All games. And then Stanley Parable. Oh no, there's no way I'll be able to... Stanley Parable. And then... View stats. And then... Achievements. No. I don't know why he didn't give it to me though. Maybe because I haven't launched it again. Oh, that's right. Oh no, they were nominated for that and they lost? They lost to the, to, um... The Last of Us. Didn't you miss the door on the first? Uh... Did I? Beta work in progress. No, I didn't. Cool. Wait. Little Stanley, no! Alright, let's keep it going. Je suis dans la memories of the de And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of no. games journalism. 10 out of 10. I want to go back. Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. <laughs> That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Man. Nostalgic? It was good! 
Wow, the good old days. I can't lie, guys. It felt gr Wait, that's Portal. <laughs> Wait. Mm. Yeah, I kind of want to go to the maintenance zone. Yep, there's them making it. Wow. Really nice. The original re- Okay. Wait. What just happened? Here's another moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. How do I get in there? How do I get into the serious room? I gotta hit that button. I gotta hit these buttons. I wish I could jump. No, there's gotta be a way, right? SV cheats one. This isn't on source. I don't think. All right, yeah, I probably have to. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? God, that sound. Well, we got cold drinks. Uh-oh. Steam. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Steam Steam reviews. A collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh, God. Oh, no. Listen. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. No! Funny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Yeah, don't worry about it, bud. Listen, that's just one reviewer amongst many. You're one of my favorite games I've ever played. All right? I, I It's chill. Man, it's not looking very chill down here. Oh, no. Can we turn this on? A little generator action. Anything over here I can fuck around with? Nah. Oh no. He's going through it, guys. I'm it's gonna get nasty. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, and for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, 
What an awful memory to have to hold on to. I know, man. These black marks on my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. No, it's pretty incredible. All right, look at all these reviews, bud. Look at all the good ones. You're just glossing over. You're focusing. See, I can see a good one over there. Why don't we read that one? You know? What if we? What if we? What if we read that one? See, you're focusing on negatives. Look at this. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Hmm. <laughs> Don't mind me just taking a look at this office space, making sure the skip button's all up to code. All right. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. Let's do it. It something like this. The story and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say the story and the choices. Oh are no, they happened, loop it! And therefore, by becoming I thought it I was gonna is, keep coming. So on and so forth, until inevitably we all Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. Can you? I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. 
Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. Yeah. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Me too. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review so that the feature is not widely abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more beneficial. Something along the lines of, this game is the best game. Hmm, let me start over. How about this? From the, from the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? True. Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. The additions and changes made to this expansion... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's... Well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? That's what I was wondering. Where did the door oh, go? Oh, shit. <laughs> Isn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here uh -oh. before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? Nope. A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. I'm going to do 12 it. 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to All talk to All the lines except. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were True. moving. True! It was the vessel I needed, Stan. It was Not the now. viewers! Oh, sorry. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Oh? Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. That if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed. I'm getting trauma dumped on. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in a stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendous. Oh my God! Far away. Listen, hey, I mean, we can't keep doing this. This, you can't put this on me. It's not me. You gave me this because you know damn well that it is a toxic trait of yours to keep going on and on, and you never even listen to me in the first place. It's why this button exists. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. Don't. I've had so much time. Don't do this. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. 
And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, this calmly, is tough, with a guys. collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. Not it was doing unlike it. anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. I'm... It was divorced entirely from the question of free will. I'm that sorry. You and I have squabbled over for so long. I'm sorry. It's there fucked up. No one ending. No. But you're not giving me a lot of opportunities not here. All events existed in the same moment, and I felt freed. I felt. Ah, we're doing this, huh? We're doing this thing now, huh? Where you're gonna be like, oh, I'm not gonna even talk to him. See, why didn't you just do this in the first place? I don't have to skip it if you're not gonna talk to me. That's fine. Fuck's that? Hey, what's the surveillance titty do? Oh, clock doesn't work. Hmm. We've been here a while. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. Well, if they we buy get it. demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. Nobody and demanded then, it. Because it was said. You did. It was spoken. Now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for yes. no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back with unyielding aggression. And so, so because of this... We require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn yes. our heads completely away from yes. the darkness. In effect, we have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. What a pity. Hey, I hear water dripping.
You guys hear that? No? The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. Are we good? Is it open yet? Uh oh. I mean, how many years? How many years? Oh. Well, at least there's human- like, there's flies, so, like, animals exist. We managed to teleport so far ahead in time that there's fucking ambient music playing 24-7? How do I get this future? I feel like I'm in Minecraft. Uh-oh. <clears throat> well, I'm impressed with this place's ability to hold up. Oh, finally. I'll do it again. New Mexico. All right. Dune two. Yeah, this is definitely North Chile. Oh, fuck. Um. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Wait. Uh-oh. Okay. Weird. So I guess it's not... Oh wait, maybe I should try and... Blaze it! Okay. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. I know. But it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Well, we got a neon sign now. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. I'm ready. How exciting, though. How 
fucking sick is it? Wait, can I go this way real quick? I want to know what's... I, this is ultimately where I want to go. But... Hey. Let's go on the ride. How do I go that way? Another elevator. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever... Wait. The Stanley Parable 2. Whoa! Yes! Yes! <laughs> the number two! Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. I love the logo. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Time to wake up. This is what I've been asking for. Testing two printers at the same time. Man, that's crazy. I do like the logo. I do think this is uh this is something I might want to invest in. Welcome. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Yeah. Ultra Deluxe. What does it even mean? I know, silly, but right? The Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I don't understand though. Oh, I get it because they were counting, so they just made it twos. Oh. Off painting. Wait, photos. Off is painting k.tga instead of <laughs> full screening it. Hey, Stanley, I don't think... I think there's some attention to detail that's lacking in here, bud. Like, um... You know? What the fuck? Does this say meeting at two? Wait, somebody read this up. Meeting at two? Management? Okay. Funny. Everything's two, huh? Sequel ideas. Stanley can throw axes. Stanley gets boons from gods. <laughs> Hades. Artistic. Intimate wife scene. Free roam mode. More famous narrator <laughs> is crossed out. Dress up mode. Microtransactions, proper gameplay, question mark, nude Stanley, New York City, jetpack, fuel canisters. New content is out, new content in part two, old and busted, new... <laughs> Okay, this is funny. Wait, what does this say? Keep on trucking, Shackleton. Suits for the casual employer. Oh my god. More TSP, better TSP, win win, sequential mind share, paradigm shift, synergy, brick and mortar approach, enveloping client centric marketing. Hmm. I think that some of these logos are, um, hmm. 
<laughs> I don't know, Stanley. I think you might have trouble with some of these. <laughs> Getting these to get cleared. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Sure. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. You hear that? Who took the red marker? Me. I think there's something in there. I don't know how to get in there. Sequels are good. Portal 2. True. Half-Life 2. What? Batman, Divinity, Doom 2, Dark Souls 2. Fucking crap. He's right, though. Sequels are pretty dope. Anything else? No. Okay. Valued investors this way to the show floor. Alright, I don't think I missed anything in here as far as I know. Whoa! Oh, baby! Whoa! Hell yeah, look at this! New feature- I mean, look at this. Just fantastic. I mean, what new features? Who knows? New content. Jom City, man. No food. Why is there a bus in here? I don't know why it... <clears throat> Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Sure. Um... Well, let's... Let's see what we got in the... We got office decorations. Okay, we got the reassurance bucket. Yeah, okay. The button that says the name of the player is playing the game. Wait. Hear your name in the game. That's new. Your na Hear your name. Wow, no way. My name? My name. I can hear... For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. It's true. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Yes! So look, that was too big. You're right. I do like... Yeah, you're right. I mean, this was a really good, really good choice here. Wow, look, Craig, Peter, Joe, Jane, She-Ra, Timmy, and all the rest. Bert, Bart. This is very, like, control-esque. You know? Alright, well, I'm just really excited. I don't want to blow my load here, but let's, um... Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Okay. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? 
Are you really, truly Jim right I feel now? like I'm Jim. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. Oh! <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even uh -huh. harder the second uh -huh. time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. No! Otherwise, soon you'll Jim. start to lose Jim. all sense Jim. of who you actually Jim. are. Jim. 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 Jim is such a weird name. Jim. 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 Anyways, that was great. I need to go to the gym. Um... I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Any screenshot? The baby's all grown up. Bankruptcy. 999. Red is the new orange. New updated ray tracing. More of the same, but in a good way. Consistent quality with just the amount amount of change. Sween shaders. <gasps> Jump circle and infinite hole! I'm going back here real quick. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Wait, I'll do this later. This is probably the last thing you needed to do. Let me go clockwise. I mean, counterclockwise. So we here we got merch, you know. It links to the Stanley Parable 2 website. The end is never the end again. This t-shirt is the best new feature. Hell yeah. So good. So sick. Love that for us. This is very Control-esque. Oh my god. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Mm. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. Wow. Oh. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Mm. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Pretty yes, bad. The bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Hmm. Should I give the bucket a go? Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. Yep, you're right. In fact, 
Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? You mean so? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? Yeah. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. This is sick, dude. Wow. This is so good. I love buckets. Handle physics? Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Hmm. Let's go see some decorations. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Uh, step niece? I think I'm going to do Happy 12th Birthday step niece. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get Well Someday it is. Fuck you. That guy got stuck. Oh my god. All right, there you have it. Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Is that it? Wait. It's time. Wait, no! You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. All right. That's fine. Fuck you. But that's fine. Love the jump circle. Love a good jump circle. Hmm. What else do we have here? Ooh. Free, new, and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. It just works. All right. Nope. Not yet. That seems sketchy. This map. Free achievement. The button. That, okay, hold on. Uh, setting world champion. We need to go to that. And Apple. Well, I don't. Fucking what kind of. What the hell? Wait. What the fuck? Oh my god. This is so confusing. I gotta go to hashtag. Which is out through here. All right, we've done all these. We've done these ones. I haven't done epilogue, which would lead us up there. So I'm going up. Can you find them? Collect them all. I didn't realize he rotates. That's creepy. What the fuck? Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Wow! Thank you. 